And welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you one of these inspirational leaders in full transparency. I had the opportunity to work with this person for a while. So I consider myself lucky that I got a chance to work with her. But guys, y'all give it up for none other than Valerie Carter. Hi. How you doing? Can you hear everybody clapping for you? Yeah, I sure can. And myself. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you can't clap for yourself, I mean, come on now. You got to like right? inspire yourself, right? Yep. That's exactly. awesome. Well, hey, Valerie, I want to give you a chance to uh, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Well, I'm Valerie Carter. Um, I work in the multifamily industry. I'm a senior director with Cushman and Wakefield. Um, we were Pinnacle before, and I've been here about seven years now. And um, once you get into the industry, you either love it or you hate it. And I obviously <laughs> love it. I've worked my way from a leasing agent to where I am today and um, don't see myself doing anything else. But I didn't go to college for that. I went to college to be an accountant took my first college accounting class and I was like, not my forte. <laughs> um, and here I am today. <laughs> That's awesome. And and I love the story where you worked your, you worked your way up through the ranks through, you know, and, and that's the amazing thing about the multifamily industry is you really can start and work your way up through the ranks because um, there's so many opportunities. Absolutely. Yeah. That is, I have, that is, I have people who are porters that are now CFOs. So it's your right? path. It's your path. And the, the greatest thing about the, this industry is there's so much support and help yep. to get you through each and every one of those levels. And it's just how, how you apply yourself and push yourself and you'll get there. Yep, absolutely. I love it. I love it. Well, Valerie, I've always seen you as one of those inspirational leaders. I mean, you're always out there taking charge, encouraging the people and just really, you know, your stuff. And I'm like, man, this Valerie's got it together. And so I always wanted to connect with leaders and peek behind the curtain and say, okay, what inspires these incredible leaders? And so I reached out to you, Valerie, and said, hey, what inspires you? You sent me back three amazing points, and I can't wait to talk to these um these points and the first one you shared is cancer survivors so share with us what that means to you and and why does that inspire you yeah so cancer runs pretty heavy in my family on my dad's side and um my dad raised me and so i was just always self-aware of my human health my my well-being and just always kept in check with you know your doctor's appointments and regular appointments um so always kind of got involved with breast cancer, like the, the runs that they do in October, Cancer Awareness mm -hmm. Month, and never really liked pink. That was always my <laughs> thing, but I just did it to support the foundation and, yeah. and the thought process. And then in 2018, I was diagnosed. Sorry, I didn't think I was gonna get emotional, but never thought that I would go down that journey. And just being around the support and the group and um, seeing all the other survivors and their stories and um, you just, the whole community comes around you and the support um, that you get, um, it just really inspires me, right? And um, my dad used his humor through that whole tra treatment process and stuff. And that's my, that's my relief is, you know, humor. Um, to really get me through it. And since I've gone through that journey and I'm a survivor today, like it just brings out that awareness to that next level and yeah. um, really makes me be able to help inspire that next person, right? I've had a lot of people reach out because um, I was public on my social media with my journey, my treatments, mm -hmm. and people saw it. And so then when they got their terrible news, um, reached out to me, you know, for support. And um, that makes me feel really good that I'm able to help support other people who've gone through that. Yeah. Um, it is really hard, right? It's, it, you don't know if it's an ending um, diagnosis or if there is light at the end of the tunnel. And um, so it just, it's always been an inspiration. You know, I never knew that I'd go through it. Um, but yeah, it just, it just warms my heart 
or, you know, now that I'm on that other side and then you still kind of wake up every day, like take that deep breath. I have another day of life. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And and Valerie, I have to say, I, I did follow your your journey and prayed for you while you were going through this and seeing all of the the support, you know, from just a just a you know, a, a, a spectator and praying for you, but seeing all of that was absolutely incredible and in, in knowing that human element that was fighting with you. Um, you were doing the fighting, but they were in your corner uh, fighting with you for that. And I imagine that is just unbelievably inspiring. And your journey has become a testimony for other people that even though they're facing, you know, what seems to be incredible odds, you beat it. You, you know, you're that survivor. And now they look to you for inspiration because you've gone through that. And that's just unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you worked with me while I went through work and chemo at the same time. Oh. So I don't and know. It, and that's the incredible part is, is you are doing all of this fighting, you know, which, which most people would just be like, okay, this is all I'm doing. And yet here you were pulling double duty, fighting an incredible battle and working. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why, you know, of course, I find you unbelievably inspiring um, because you you have such strength to do that. And you continue to inspire other people through your testimony and your uh, your survivorship. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just. It's just it's it's hard to follow up with that because that, that's like one of the most incredible battles uh, to to win, um, and yet you continue to share more inspiration, uh, inspirational thoughts. And and the second thing that you shared with me that inspires you is community service. So Valerie, what does community service mean to you, and how does it end up inspiring you? So. Yeah, I mean, and it kind of segues from the breast cancer and being mm-hmm. a survivor. Like I've reached out to a lot of the foundations and um, na- national breast cancer um, just to put together like hope kits and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Just kind of segues into that community service and how I can give back and not only to just breast cancer, right? It, the whole, um, there was a foundation, um, Manda Strong Foundation that supported me through my journey as well. And mm-hmm. they do like an annual golf tournament every year um, and some other things to just um, gain awareness and help with the foundation to help support other moms in the community that are going through that. Mm-hmm. And that just was an inspiration to me because I wanted to be able to give back even more on another yeah. level and what I really love about and this isn't just a plug for my company but uh, Cushman allows us to volunteer um, as a group you know we we make sure we have an outing quarterly to go mm-hmm. and serve the community whether it's you know being with the homeless pet shelters um, homeless um, in general food banks mm-hmm. um, I mean the there's just a whole list give blood um, you know it just just being able to give back to the community because yeah. you know I've been in you know I had a rough upbringing and I've been on that other side. And so Mm -hmm. I kind of, I know what that help really feels like when you're on the other side and you get to be the receiver of it. And so um, that's always just been an inspiration for me. And it just hasn't been recently since the breast cancer um, that I've done the community service. I've always um, done it. I grew up with being a Girl Scout and that was one of our (laughs) things that we did, right? Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. And so, you know, just to be able to give back to the community that you live in, that you work in, that you um, play in, it just, it warms the heart. Mm-hmm. And, and I 100% agree with you. I mean, when you have a chance to give, whatever that generosity looks like, whether it's your time, talent, or treasure, that really the, what you receive in return is so much more than what you give. And I, and I know, and I've, I, you know, I've had opportunities to serve as well. And what I find so fascinating with you, Valerie, is you shared that you you had a difficult upbringing and then you shared you fought an incredibly difficult battle. And yet here you are, you're still giving, you're still helping others, even though you've experienced these difficult things, if you will, you still give, you still take that testimony that you overcame and you're still giving 
by serving and helping others through your testimony and just how how can how can somebody not be inspired by you valerie right <laughs> thank you <laughs> that's so incredible your story is just so 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 amazing and it's just so neat to talk to you and yet we're still not finished no. just got one more amazing um inspirational point so so tell us this third thing that you shared with me that inspires you is motivational speakers and leaders so share with us what that means and how those those uh those people inspire you yeah so like my my all three kind of correlate together and um so you know coming from a rough upbringing and just being around motivational speakers and being able to go to conferences where they have been to be able to speak about their past and how they've come out of it and actually prospered, you know, mm -hmm. through what they've gone through. Um, growing up, I was, I was just, I had a fear for speaking in public. Obviously in my role, I've had to learn to get over that fear. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if I do it very well, but I, I try. <laughs> and those people just inspire me because they're able to get up in front of a room and share that story or share their journey, where they've been and mm -hmm. how it inspired them, how it helped them to come out on the other side. Wow. Um, you know, just knowing somebody's story really helps you bring that human relationship, that bond just wow. closer together. Oh my gosh. And I think you, 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 you put that, perfectly is knowing their story helps put that human bond on that relationship. And, and I think we're, we all as humans gravitate towards stories because it, it's relatable. And, and I agree with you, Valerie, when I see a motivational speaker, a leader up on stage, telling those stories, telling those testimonies, how they overcame the odds to become who they are today, kind of thing. Those, those are like so relatable and so inspiring. And, you know, you almost, want to run out of there just to conquer the world, right? Right. They motivate you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, if yeah. they did it, I can do it. Exactly. And I think that's the, the biggest part is when you tell stories that I overcame these things, then it gives the other person, you're giving them courage to overcome the things that they're going through because they see you as a victor and they're like, I can do it too. And that's absolutely amazing. Exactly. Oh my gosh, Valerie. You're just- <laughs> Love the inspiration I, for this Friday. Right? I'm loving yes. this. I can't wait to, when, when people are gonna watch this and they're just, make sure you grab some tissues and, and just <laughs> be prepared because this is an absolutely incredible episode. Valerie, I love I love chatting with you and, and I have always enjoyed uh, connecting with you and then talking to you and always learning from you as well. Um, but before we wrap up, I'd love to give you an opportunity to share a closing thought with us. Oh my goodness. Well, you didn't prepare me for that. <laughs> um, I think just, um, you know, knowing where you've been, where you want to go and knowing that you can succeed. Anybody can, um, no matter where you've been, right? That's the past. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Put it behind you, but take that learning, you know, opportunity from it. What did you learn from it? And how's that gonna empower you to move forward and look towards the future, set goals, meet, meet where you wanna go. It's your world. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I, I normally have things to say after afterwards, but Valerie, I'm just gonna drop the mic. You said it all. I think that was brilliant. Guys, I want you to go back and, and rewind this a little bit. Go listen to what Valerie just said about what her closing thought, I think is so powerful, so valuable. Um, the impact of what, what you just said, Valerie, past, moving forward, learn from it, all the things, great nuggets of wisdom. Valerie, again, thank you so much for joining me today on the Super Fantastic Exchange. Guys, make sure you, if you get a chance to connect with Valerie, find her on LinkedIn, or if you're lucky enough to work with her in some <laughs> capacity, consider yourself blessed. I know I am because I had that opportunity for a while. So guys, thank you again for joining us. Valerie, thank you for joining me here on the Super Fantastic Exchange. And we will see you on the next episode. See you guys. Thank you.